Hey guys, I recently discovered this uh, really uh, weird setup in Cult LMG that makes it pretty powerful. Um, now, um, I saw these attachments when I was going through playing it with it um, on my ult, of course, uh, just leveling up, uh, still level 8 on this count. Um, but uh, I saw this and this. So then I was like, okay, and then I went and looked at, uh, it's, uh, aiming speed here, and, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, very SMG-like, let's say that, and uh, its walk speed is also very SMG like so I was like okay so let me try this and uh hopped into battle uh now why are you shooting me I'm on your team but uh the recoil's pretty bad uh but uh you run as fast as an SMG, you aim as fast as an SMG, you have 60 bullets, and your damage is 35 to 20, which is actually pretty good. And also, uh, let me F5 out real quick, you get a 1.1 torso multiplier, as seen here, uh, which makes it an actually very solid CQC gun for some really weird reason. Um... But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the reload rate is actually pretty bad, um, but the 60 bullets in a mag makes up for it because you don't have to reload in the middle of that if there's, like, many people there. But, uh, yeah, this thing's actually pretty good. Now, the recoil actually, um, is pretty bad, uh, you can say that, Let's see how much it's shaking, but, uh, can fix that, but it makes it more of an AR damage. I mean, AR handling kind of thing. So I usually just put a pistol grip and point two two three reg maintain. Um, but the problem with this is that it's eighteen damage, and even with this one point one torso multiplier, you have to get at least one headshot because otherwise your enemies will be left with one health remaining. Just like when the devs purposely make stuff like the AK-12 have 33 damage and no torso multiplier. But, uh, I feel like the recoil with this is much better than with, um, the high damage. But if you're just going with CQC stuff, you don't really have to aim as much. I mean, you don't have to really about worry about recoil as much, so, um... You should probably go with, um, no 223 and, uh, pistol grip. But, um, if you want to use this at slightly longer range scenarios, except, uh, damage is pretty impacted with the 223, um, this gives you much better accuracy. But, you trade off damage and aiming speed. As you can see, it's more of an AR's aiming speed here. But, uh, yeah, uh, just want to share, t w share with you, um, this weird loadout I found, but, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later, and bye.